Hello, people. I'm Javi Kawai, joined by Chara Kirk. What's up? We're looking at the trailer to Home from Amazon Prime Video India. This is starring Indrans, Srinath Basi, and Vijay Babu. It's directed by Rojan Thomas. This comes out August 19th. Oh, it's already out. It's on out right now. You should be... Stop the trailer reaction. Just go watch the movie. It's already out if you guys want to watch this right now on Amazon Prime Video India. Before we jump into it, I just want to say thank you to a couple of the super chatters today who have made August a lovely, lovely month. Mari... Something. What's his last name? God. Shashank Mari. Sh- Shashank. Well, that, that's how he uh, redid it because of uh, YouTube Super Chats. Oh, it was Mari so, Shashank. Ma- Mari Shashank, then Peter James. I don't think that's this is real name, but uh, he went by Peter James. And then, of course, Krishna Venkataraman. Y'all were so... Oh, and, and Julie. 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 You only get that if you're watching the live streams. <laughs> but uh, I just want to say thank you. Y'all. And if you're like live streams... What the heck? Yeah. You do live streams? Uh, there's a whole channel dedicated to it. It's yeah. called Jabby Live. So yeah, you, go follow us there. YouTube.com slash Jabby. All right, here yeah. we go. Hello, ready. I'm not ready. What's up? I'm ready. I'm not 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 ready. ാരെങ്കിലും വിളിക്കുകയാണെങ്കിൽ ഭയങ്കര കളിയും ചിരിയും തമാശയൊക്കെ ആയിരിക്കും അടുത്ത് നിന്ന് നമ്മൾ എന്തെങ്കിലും പറഞ്ഞാൽ ആദ്യ പടം സൂപ്പർ ഹിറ്റ് ആക്കി ഡയറക്ടർ എന്നുള്ള വിശ്വാസത്തിലാണ് വിശാലിനെ പോലെ ഇത്രയും ബിസി ആയിട്ടുള്ള സ്റ്റാർ നിനക്ക് ഓപ്പൺ ഡേറ്റ് മൂത്ത മോന ഫിലിം ഡയറക്ടറാ ഏഴ് ദിവസം കൊണ്ട് ക്ലൈമാക്സ് കംപ്ലീറ്റ് ചെയ്ത് വിശാലിനെ കേൾപ്പിക്കണം സൂപ്പർ സ്റ്റാറെ അയാളാണെങ്കിൽ തീർന്നോ തീർന്നോ എന്ന് ഡെയിലി അവനെ വിളിച്ച് ശൈലിയോ സംസാരിക്കാൻ something more... compelling or enticing about it for me than what I experience with indie trailers over here that re- repels me. <laughs> well, I think uh, maybe what you're talking about with indie trailers here is there's sometimes this sense of like, maybe you have to be a certain type of person to appreciate this indie film. It's just tropes that go with indie films, stylistically, character-wise. Oddly, ironically, it almost feels cookie cutter sometimes, the way indie films are designed to manipulate you emotionally whereas this just feels like it's trying to tell a genuinely good story here i'm always really drawn to stories that are about you know family dramas anytime it's a family drama i'm already inclined to watch it there's something about it that just really pulls me in it's not even because i miss my family more than ever but 
I've always been drawn to these types of stories and maybe it's just because it's so relatable. Have you watched Big Fish? Yeah. This gives me the feels of Big Fish without the Tim Burton spectacle because he's telling his stories and his son is like, wait, what? This is real? And he's like, oh yeah, like all this happened. You know, because our parents have had these other lives before right. they were our parents that often we don't realize they existed before us. Yeah, and that's the thing. What I find so lovely about this story is there's this dad who is just so open to using whatever technology is available to him in order to connect with his sons more. Yeah. And it's just a story about connection. And it's so sweet because, I don't know, I find it also slightly frustrating and also very adorable when I watch my parents try to figure out technology. Yeah. You know, like whenever my dad manages to do something on an app or whatever, he'll be like, oh, Dino Dad figured it out because he thinks he's a, he's a dinosaur, right? Like he, yeah. he doesn't understand things. And like my mom, from not knowing how to use Facebook properly, she's mm -hmm. now a Facebook whiz and she's sending me all of these like Facebook videos and articles and YouTube videos and whatever and I have to be like mom you gotta check check your references right. mom not everything that you see in a Facebook post is real okay right. you can't cure COVID with this random like tree the one area that I found was extremely relatable for me was the father's logic with I can't have a phone like this my son is a filmmaker it's like the weirdest dad logic but <laughs> it, it makes sense at least as far as my experiences go because my dad felt bad that we didn't have a computer because I had a website he's like you have a website we should have a computer at home and I didn't have the heart to tell my dad that it was just a GeoCities website like <laughs> <laughs> he thought you were like some coder or I, well something. I did code a little bit but it's not like to it's not like I was working for Microsoft. It was just like a little tiny GeoCities thing that was very cookie cutter. Like you just, you know, plug in the things and it kind of helps you out. But I think that's, that's the thing that's so cute and so relatable as well is that our parents are so proud of us and like they, they show it in different ways, right? Like, yeah. and so it's just this really heartwarming story about family, which, you know, we all can relate to. And this dad who's just trying his best to connect with his children and right. be able to have a conversation. And sadly, these days, it seems like the best way to do that is through technology. Because like, yeah. maybe if he can send you a, a meme or a GIF or something, you're more likely to engage with him than if he was just like, hey, son, do you want to have a chat right now? It is interesting when my mom uses GIFs and stuff like that or like emo emojis from oh, the yeah. iPhone. <laughs> like with my mom's cartoon face going, I'm like, oh, it's okay, mom. Slightly freaky. All right, mom. <laughs> good on you. Like, I don't even use the, that aspect of the phone. But, I know. You know. Good on you. It's really cute. But uh, anyway, you know, uh, whatever ways that our parents can keep up, keep up with us is. Yeah. I'm fine with it. It's cool. Like, this is heartwarming and sweet and very, it, it feels very wholesome. And I think that the dad character and the, the actor who's playing the dad is really standing out to me. I, he has just such an interesting. Look. like character look yeah. about him and and there's just the way he's framed in some of the shots where he's just so small mm -hmm. and and the scene is so wide yeah sometimes i look at that and i'm like oh dad like i just want to give you a hug right you know <laughs> get over here uh you guys <laughs> thanks so much for hanging out hopefully you enjoyed that let us know your feelings in the comments below i'm jabby kawaii this is achara kirk peace out